never said I would help you find a husband, but I cannot stand by and watch you make a mistake. The only mistake was me ever asking for your help in the first place. Hey bestie, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. Please do well to check my other videos and don't forget to subscribe now. You know what? In short, just subscribe now. <laughs> but if it's not your first time, thank you so much for coming back. And um, I miss you guys so much and I know you did the same. So that is why I'm here to serve you premium. <laughs> Whatever that is. I'm sorry, my background is a little bit noisy. So you guys should please just manage it. I'll try my best to be very, very audible. So this is like um, my first video in a very long while. Yeah, what happened to you, Annie? Uh, a lot, a lot, but I don't want to waste that time saying all of this here now, okay? Um, so, as you can see, the review is going to be on Bridgerton. I know all of us have been anticipating this particular season because I can't wait. I'm number one Bridgerton fan. Like, each season, I must be there. <laughs> so, this particular season, I won't lie you guys, the storyline, they really outdid themselves. So, at least we have something like unlike the previous season that was just all about love and romance um yeah like okay that was the previous previous like maybe the first and second no no sorry is it the, yeah the first and second right <laughs> whatever guys but the other season that had to be um for the queen that was all yeah it was still love and romance with a little bit of um sorrow in it but whatever this season was great. Now, this season, our two main characters is going to be Collins and Penelope. You know, guys, at first, I was like, what is wrong with Collins? Why is it that Collins cannot just see what we are seeing? It was just everywhere. The fact that he couldn't just see through the fact that this girl is so much in love with him, like she has fallen so deep. And how that girl was able to hide her feelings from him is top notch. Like, I need to take lessons from that girl. <laughs> so, you guys know in the last, um, or rather, the, yeah, that should be the last um, season where um, Lady Whistledown was almost caught. And we all know who Lady Whistledown is now. But if you don't know, it's no one else but Penelope. And to think that she how she's able to play two characters at the same time is marvelous i won't lie you guys like it's really really marvelous so i don't know the reaction i really don't know how everything is going to be but honestly i cannot wait like i really cannot wait to see the reaction from collins when he finds out that your baby girl is no other but the lady we sit down <laughs> i know it's going to be hilarious it's going to be nothing but wow you understand the fact that he has always been hunting for her judging from the fact that this lady always writes about them always writes about them i don't know what her obsession is with the Bridgerton. i really don't know and um this um season she and um the Bridgerton girl i'm sorry guys i forgot her name uh they are not in talking terms yeah that's because when she found out that it was even you that was doing all of this and you couldn't even tell me I said we are friends, you understand? Well, I understand Penelope in so, to an extent, but still on still, I still understand the range from, um, or I say the anger from this other Bridgerton lady, so I understand. But still on still, the fact that they were not on talking terms, hmm, that really did a whole lot on Penelope because she was like that one person she could talk to, they do things together, and this season, guys, she was all alone. Thank God to Collins. Collins was a saving grace. Now, let's start with the fact that she had to ask Collins to help her find a suitor. Was that right? Well, personally, I don't see a problem with that. I mean, since they are friends, friends do help each other in everything and anything. So I don't see anything wrong in the fact that she actually had, had to ask Collins to help her find a suitor. Knowing fully well, Collins is also like an eligible suitor. <laughs> So how she was able to like even hide her feelings, I mean, this is something that some ladies would just ask Collins, like, look Collins, I have feelings for you and I don't know if you feel the same way for me, but honestly, this friend thing is not really my thing, but honestly, I do have feelings for you, what do you think? But Collins, on the other hand, I think 
The thing all started with the fact Collins was looking at her as his younger sister, knowing fully well that she's friends with his younger sister. So that kind of, there is no point me looking at her in a romantic way. But coming back from his travel, guys, Collins changed a whole lot. I mean, Collins was that one person that doesn't care about ladies. It doesn't, like, it looks at the world in a different height, in a different way. And now Collins is doing things, guys, doing things. <laughs> <laughs> like the kind of things Collins was just pulling out this season I was like bro really so you had all of this all this playboy thing in you and it's cute to an extent though I will lie you guys like it's it's actually mm, mm, mm. <laughs> so now this is where I actually couldn't take it anymore was the part where now finally I think um, though some people were like it started from season two not sorry from episode two for me i saw it from episode one towards the ending part yeah where colin started growing feelings for finality like this lady likes you a whole lot why can't you say it and okay finally you've seen it so what is so difficult for you to now like ask her out make it official instead of making it look like she's not what it it could be a mistake or they won't accept her and all that so the fact that when you finally realize that he actually loves her you understand now instead of you to fight for her you are now taking i don't know how best to put it but there's this thing about guys i noticed like when a guy likes you or let me put it this way when you like a guy they don't pay attention to you do you understand they get to give you this desperate kind of looks I don't know why it's always like that from their, their own end. And um, when immediately they notice that you've like grown past that feelings, you are no longer interested in them. Now you want to look out to it. You understand? Guys, the next thing, these guys will start coming for you. Like that is the moment to know that, yeah, you are their world and heaven. So even make it worse, some of them don't even come out directly to ask you out. They are going to still like confuse you in a way that um, they don't want to ask you out directly they just want to put you in that spot where you are not sure you don't know if um they are now reciprocating their feelings or is it it or what i don't know why guys like doing that and this is what collins and this is what collins was doing when he finally helped her find a suitor he decided to take that suitor away from her why why collins why <laughs> i was so pissed like i i had to like i personally i was like uh penelope this other lord is suitable for you like i prefer this one to collins okay even though that even though this particular lord wasn't looking for a wife that's in a romantic way he just needed a wife that when he travels she doesn't get to miss him and all that even though that was selfish and uh, penelope on her own hand she has always going to be alone so personally, I would say both of them fit. I won't lie, both of them fit. Who knows, maybe in the future, that romance and that emotional attachment will be there. But both of them get to share similar kind of personality. I don't know. But for Collins, Collins was definitely... Like, I feel she with Collins... Hmm, guys, there's going to be a lot of obstacles. Because one, if Collins should find out that now she is Lady Whistledown, do you think Collins will still proceed? Like, personally, I think that guy was. Judging from how he reacted one time when both of them had something, his reaction was something I've never seen in Collins. You understand? So I don't think Collins would still look at Penelope the way he would, the way he has been looking at her when he finds out that she is Lady Whistledown. I mean, same thing happened with the Bridgeton lady. She cut ties with her and she felt disappointed so i just feel that disappointment will be there and that feelings that love and all that guys i don't think so so you guys should let me know what do you guys think will colin still stick to her will their love <laughs> outgrow whatever issue whatever problems well for me well for me i don't know i really don't know so this is all for um this season three i am still waiting for the next episode because 
that particular spot they stalked guys i wasn't having it i was like no there is no way on earth this season is going to end this way <laughs> they actually got to me because i didn't see that ending coming and um for colin's mom that's lady bridgeton but she really accept penelope because she has always had this um my son can do better do you understand but if they choose love fine no problem I'm hoping to see how it's going to end. And Philanopi's mom as well. I don't know how that lady is going to react to the fact that Collins is going to be her son-in-law. <laughs> because that lady has all, always been for nothing but the money. She believes love is not real. All you have to do is secure your spot. Secure your um, place as a lady so you don't lose everything. Which is, to an extent, is good because love is not for everyone, right? <laughs> I didn't say that. So this is all I have to say for season three of the Bridgeton. I enjoyed it. I'll give it a 10 over 10. It was great. Everything was beautiful. I love everything about it. I can't wait for the remaining episode. So when the rainy episode comes back, sorry, when the epi when the remaining episode is out, you see me here telling you what you guys said <laughs> anyway i'm still keeping my finger crossed on the fact that collins is going to disappoint penelope when he finds out that she is with the whistle down and penelope is going to lose a whole lot yes she's going to lose a lot because she wrote nasty things about collins this season and it was not cool at all i'll say she was angry or out of annoyance yeah i guess so so i hope you enjoyed this review i hope you enjoyed bridgeton season 3 please let me know in the comment section what you think and please if you haven't subscribed guys please subscribe come on come on it's not that difficult just click on the subscribe button right here do it do it do it <laughs> so please do well to check my other reviews that um based on the um, movies series reality show if you are the k drama lover check it out as well and don't forget to share share this video to your friends family everyone so i'll see you back in the next um episode or rather i'll see you when the next episode comes out on bridgeton so my next review is going to be on k drama and if it's not on k drama then we expect some nigerian reality show okay so thank you so much for watching thank you so much for watching down till this spot so see you in my next video. Bye!